Hey y'all, welcome to B's Intuition. I'm B, and I'm back with another General Collective Energy Message. Thank you guys for tuning in. I really appreciate it. I do cuss and I do tell the truth, so if you don't like either one of the two, then you probably should move on. I've already prayed over the cards and the energy, so we're just going to hop in and get this message. Please remember to like, share, and most importantly, subscribe, especially to those of you that I view on the channel but have not yet subscribed. You don't want to miss out on the messages that God has for you. Also, please remember to take what resonates only and leave the rest for whoever it's for. Every message will not be your message. So with that being said, y'all, let's hop in. So when I'm shuffling in the deck, we see Nine of Cups and uh, the Nine of Wands here. Um, somebody literally could want to apologize for 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 causing some type of pain, hurt and pain when it comes to you here. Um, but you literally could be guarded. You literally could be protecting your energy here. But I'm also picking up too that the, that there could be somebody that literally could be coming in to offer you something here. And you definitely need to uh, protect yourself, protect your energy here. So let's see what's going on. Spirit. So the worry card came out. So I feel like whoever this is that could be trying to apologize or trying to come in with some type of offer. I feel like if they're worried and I feel like if they're worried because you're very protective, you're very guarded, whoever you are. Yeah, we have the kite in the reverse here. So um, you possibly aren't communicating with this person here. But I'm also picking up, too, that this person is worried uh, because maybe the last conversation that you had with this person, um, it literally was bad. Maybe you, you know, spoke your truth and then left it at that here. Um, whoever this person is, they are worried about some type of communication here, but it's like bad communication or no communication here. Yeah, we have the jacket in the, the jacket here. So. Uh, I'm picking up that you definitely are protecting yourself. You're definitely guarding yourself. But I'm also picking up too that you are also being spiritually protected. So you possibly aren't communicating with this person, or 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 this person can't communicate with you because your your spiritual team could literally be protecting you from communicating with this person. Mm. Mm hmm. But I'm also picking up too with this jacket card. The communication that you or the conversation that you possibly had with this person, the last conversation, you possibly know that this person was covering up something here. And so with that being said, that could be why this person is worried. Um, they could be they're worried because um they feel like that you possibly know uh that they were covering up something here. Yeah, we have the trapezium here. Um, so for some of you, yeah, this person literally could have been trying to, um, cover up the fact that they were trying to get you in some type of trap or something like that. But you, your intuition could have told you that even though you had this conversation with this person, your intuition could have been alerting you, uh, to this person here, as far as them trying to cover up the fact that they were trying to get you trapped up. Um, so that's why you possibly aren't communicating with this person, or that's why the last conversation that you had, it was like with this person, it was bad communication or it wasn't really a conversation it was just basically xyz and that was it whoever this is they definitely are covering up something here <clears throat> if y'all look at that tra trapezium it looks like kind of like a mailbox or like a lock box or something here so something is significant about a mailbox or a lock box Give me one more spirit. Yeah, we have disappointed here. So you definitely could be disappointed at this person here. Um, I feel like that this person is literally disappointed in themselves. I feel like this person is disappointed in themselves because the trap that they were trying to set for you, it didn't work. 
But I'm also picking up too that whatever, when it comes to the mailbox or, or lockbox or whatever, this person literally was covering something up about that. And it could literally be mail. It doesn't have to be, you know, it's a mailbox, so it could definitely have something to do with mail. Maybe this person stole your mail or something like that, but this person definitely is disappointed in themselves here. Yeah. And then we have nervous and kite at the bottom of the deck. So whoever this person is, I feel like that they are nervous now uh, to come in and try to communicate with you here. But I'm also picking up, too, that whoever this person is, they definitely know that you're disappointed in them. And that's another reason why they're nervous about trying to communicate with you again. Mm -hmm. This person feels like that you're running from them. This person could feel like that you're trying to duck them here. Mm -hmm. And then on the back of the cards, we have the, the letters D and R here. So something about a doctor could be significant. Dominican Republic could be significant. When I when I look at this jacket card, it, it gives me something, you know, like jacket, you know, like the beefcake, like jacket. So for some of you, this person literally could be could could masturbate to you or your pictures if they have some or whatever the situation is here. Yeah, I'm picking up sexual energy here. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the stop card flipped over. So I don't know if this person has been, uh, I feel like that they've been stopped in their tracks here um, from doing something here. And it definitely has something to do with getting you trapped up. So if this person, because I'm picking up the energy that somebody literally could have just been communicating with you, but they could have been recording you. Or something like that trying to get set you up to say the wrong thing or something like that but because the communication between you and them was bad they literally have been stopping their tracks when it comes to trying to set you up or whatever the situation is here um, I do feel like that you are disappointed in this person I feel like that whoever this person is they're crazy they're wacky they they I don't know why they would be trying to set you up here um, maybe there's something going on behind the scenes um, and they're trying to get out of it here. I don't know. Yeah, we have the Eight of Cups at the bottom of the deck here. Yeah, I feel like whoever this is, it could be a past person um, because we have the Eight of Cups here. Uh, and I feel like whoever this person is, they're disappointed because they possibly didn't think that you would walk away from them here. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I'm also picking up, too, with this Eight of Cups here that, yeah, somebody, whoever this person is, they literally could be trying to walk away um, from something that they have done here. And then I keep seeing that stop card. So it's like they've been stopped in their tracks here and they have to walk away. I feel like that they're they're disappointed about that. But they're also worried because they don't know what's going to take place after. Because whoever this person is, they do feel like that you know that they were trying to set you up or something. And then we have the Knight of Wands here. Yeah, this person has to walk away from playing games here. But it's something about sex because we have the Knight of Wands and the Ace of Wands here. So whoever this person is, they they definitely are covering something up here. And it has something to do with, with sex. It has something to do with um, their beefcake. Mm -hmm. Yeah. 
that could be another reason why this person is nervous to to communicate with you here um yeah we have five of cups so this person definitely is disappointed they're shameful um and then we have the magician here so this person yeah they were they were doing some type of sex magic here with the knight of wands and the uh ace of wands and the magician so they were doing some type of sex magic but i feel like that something has taken place with somebody here because they were doing some type of sex magic here and this person literally could be disappointed in themselves here because whatever they were doing behind the scenes um that definitely backfired or it definitely uh caused something unfavorable and harmful to take place and i feel like it's the un the unharmful i mean excuse me the unfavorable and harmful uh thing took place with this person here so for some of you this person literally was trying to communicate with you to possibly project some type of spell over the phone or something like that so that could be the trap that could be the setup why well, is worried here We have the hang one here. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and then we have Ten of Swords at the bottom of the deck. So, whoever this person is, yeah. I feel like you're going to be disappointed to find out that this person literally was trying to sacrifice you. So, I don't know if they were trying to project whatever they got going on on you um this person literally could have could be trying to block your sacral chakra or could be trying to mess with your sacral sacral chakra as well here but yeah this person is definitely worried and i feel like that they're worried because they whatever they were trying to project onto you it didn't work and now they literally are sacrificing themselves here or, or they have to sacrifice themselves or the fact of the matter is they've been stopped in their tracks and they definitely have to sacrifice um, communicating with you here. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Whoever this person is, yeah, they, they, they were trying to do something. They were trying to do something when it comes to you here. But I feel like that whoever this is, they, they, they literally have basically stabbed their own selves in the back or they literally have wounded their own selves by trying to do whatever this is that they were trying to do to you. And it has something to do with communication. So they were trying to project some type of spell through communication, communicating with you here. But I feel like that this person didn't get to complete the task here. This person is trying to cover up the fact that they basically sabotaged themselves here. And then we have the Knight of Cups here. So whoever this person is, they possibly do want to apologize here. But they're covering up something here. And I feel like whoever this is, they're going to try to keep it hidden. To, to try to bring forth some type of offer to you. Mm -hmm. For some of you, I feel like that this person has done whatever this is more than enough times for this person to be stopped in their tracks here. And I feel like whoever this person is, they, they literally are trying to continue to trap you up here by trying to bring forth some type of offer, some type of apology. And I'm picking up that it could be fake. You know, it could be a um, dirty offer. Mm -hmm. Yeah, something about three of cups here. So this person definitely is disappointed in themselves. Um, but I'm also picking up too that whoever this is, they literally could have been involved in a threesome or something like that. And they could be disappointed because something could have taken place with their beefcake. Yeah, we have Knight of Cups and Three of Cups here. So something about uh, offer or invitation to some type of celebration here. Mm -hmm. So for some of you, somebody literally could be trying to invite you somewhere to have sex with you. Um, but whoever this person is... It's something about their beefcake or, or, or their... their, 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 their or their taco, you know what I mean? Something ain't right. We saw the Knight of Wands with the Ace of Wands and then the Magician. So it's something about sex magic here. But I'm also picking up too that somebody literally could... Yeah. Mm -mm. 
you're definitely being protected from whoever this person is for sure for sure yeah look when I picked the deck up what's on the bottom of the deck we got caught a case sexual infection sexual disease and we definitely did see the knight of wands the ace of wands and the magician so what this person got going down down bottom that they're trying to project on you or they're trying to to give to you here mm -hmm. but whoever this person is they literally feel like that you know um, or, or they feel like that you have some type of inkling uh, of what's going on that's why they're worried that's why they feel like that you're not communicating with them here Mm -hmm. yeah but the, whoever this person is they literally are disappointed in themselves because they basically um, were trying to sacrifice you or trying to do this to you buy some type of communication spells yeah there it goes yeah something about sex magic or some type of sex ritual or I don't know and it could have been with these people so it could have been a group of people who were doing sex spells or whatever the situation is and they possibly needed a sacrifice or something like that and so somebody chose you but they chose the wrong person because you're not communicating with this person or if you're communicating with this person you're not communicating with this person in a way that they can basically tend to sword you here yeah so for some of you this person literally is going to try to um, invite you somewhere um, to possibly get it done whatever they're trying to do but yeah something about caught a case here sexual infection or something like that this person literally has sacrificed themselves they've sabotaged themselves here and yeah, whoever this person is, they're having massive regrets right now. Mm -hmm. Why is it? Why is worried in uh, the hangman here? I guess them trying to project this onto you, or them trying to communicate with you. Um, was a part of yeah some type of plan here I feel like this person literally had to sacrifice somebody here with the hang one and the ten of swords and they chose you but they messed that they basically messed up the, 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 the they basically try to sacrifice the wrong person here mm -hmm. and if it's not this person that was doing it it's a whole group of people that were doing it to this person here or, or these people manipulated this person to do it to you or maybe this person was under some type of spell or whatever they had something to do with 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 sex or with whatever the situation is and um, maybe they didn't know that communicating with you would, would, would project it onto you but I feel like that this person does know this person knows exactly what's going on behind the scenes I feel like that this person was a part of it here mm-hmm yeah, because we have disappointed in the Three of Cups, so this person is disappointed because they celebrated too soon. Yeah, but we have effed up over you here, and then we have Divine Feminine in the reverse, so there is a Karmic Feminine here um, involved. So for some of you, this karmic feminine, whoever this person is, they were involved with this karmic feminine or are involved in this karmic feminine here. Um, and basically this karmic feminine possibly um, made a plan and this person is going along with it or went along with it here. But whoever this karmic feminine energy is as well, they, they're, they're effed up over you for some strange reason. I don't know if this this karmic feminine is jealous of you or they're trying to 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 have sex with you or whatever the situation is here. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah. 
I feel like you've already moved on. But whoever this person is, they're literally going to try to come in or try to communicate with you some in some way, shape, form, or fashion. Because we did see the nervous and the kite card again. Um, so that whoever this person is, they are nervous to communicate with you. But I feel like that they are going to try to communicate with you here. But they're going to try to come in with, 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 with fakeness here. They're going to try to come in and, and, and say that they're moving on from, um, you know, these people or this person or whatever the situation is here. Um, they're going to try to say that they're disappointed in these people. Um, these people are cloud hungry. Um, these people say anything. They do anything. You know, they make stuff up. Yada, yada, baze, baze. And that's possibly true. But this person was a part of it. Mm-hmm. Because whoever this person is, they're being haunted. So if they weren't a part of it, then they wouldn't be haunted by memories. They wouldn't be having flashbacks of what they played a part in. Yeah. Something about uh, Halloween is very significant. So something about October is very significant here. Um, whoever this person is, yeah, we have trauma at the bottom of the deck and side effects. So whoever this person is, yeah, they're, they're going through some type of trauma here. They're having side effects of whatever they played a part in. Worried with the hang one. Whoever these people are, they definitely have been stopped in their tracks. But I feel like that they've been stopped in their tracks because of the side effects that they uh, are are dealing with behind behind what they were doing. I mean, I, I'm picking up with the hangman and ten of swords. Yeah, some type of sacrifice ritual, but it has it. It involves sex, so I don't know if these people were having sex here and doing uh, sacrifice rituals or something like that. This is weird. Yeah, we have no strings attached here. So, yeah, whoever you are, I feel like that you've already, you know, ended it with this person. You've already walked away from this person here. I feel like whoever you are, you don't want any strings attached to this person. Or this person feels like that once you find out what, what's what been going on behind the scenes, you're not going to want to have any strings attached to this person. But I feel like you don't have any strings attached to this person now. When it comes to this invitation or this um, this this apology or this offer or whatever, with the Knight of Cups and Three of Cups, some type of celebration here. Yeah, we have, it's a lot of cups out here. So definitely water, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. But I'm also picking up two. It's, it's, it's night and then, yeah, with the Three of Cups. So it's something about fake love. Uh, you know, a lot of fakeness here. So whoever this person is, I feel like that somebody is going to try to invite you um, somewhere. Or uh, try to apologize and, you know, act like that everything is everything. And they're possibly going to try to tell you that they have no strings attached to these people. They don't know who these people are. Because I feel like whoever this person is, they are going to try to communicate with you here. But they're nervous about it. But we do have the jacket and knight of cups. So whoever this person is, they're still going to be covering up something here. And they're going to try to come in and apologize to you. Or come in and try to invite you somewhere. Or whatever the situation is. I feel like whoever this person is, they're going to be acting acting like they're disappointed in, in th these people acting like that they uh, are sorry acting like I don't feel like it's real yeah you're not in communication with this person whoever this person is you, they, they literally could have left you hanging they literally could have left you hanging here um, and for some of you yeah this person literally left you hanging and basically went on with their life and covering up what they were doing behind the scenes here. Something about yeah, an invitation somewhere here, but it's but it's sabotage in the in the mist. But look, look at look look at your ancestors creeping. For some of you, you already know, you already know. We have creeping, so and and the owl is wisdom. So yeah, something about you already knowing. This person feels like that you already know something. You possibly already do. I mean, I feel like your intuition is on. This person literally could be disappointed, or somebody could be disappointed because you're creeping. Your 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 spiritual team is creeping. You're being protected. You literally could be protecting yourself just because you know that this person or these people ain't shit. But yeah, you know something. 
or you're getting ready to be told something here and somebody's going to be disappointed. Somebody wants to get you, yeah, I want to invite you somewhere here. And yeah, something about a sex addiction. Wow. Tied in the reverse. Everything is fine. So these are people walking around with, with sex demons. I guess. Yeah. Somebody has a bad reputation here. And somebody was covering up the fact that they have a bad reputation. You're going to find out about somebody's bad reputation. Somebody's also worried about that as well. Um, so this person is going to try to cover up, cover it up, or they already have here, trying to act like that they love you, but this is fake love with the jacket and the knot of cups here. Mm-hmm. Jacket with the knot of cups. Yeah. This person definitely is losing sleep. And I feel like it's because of their bad reputation. And if it's not this person, it's it's the karmic feminine that they're dealing with. But we did see wands, so there has to be a karmic masculine in the mist. Something about a beefcake, something about a penis. You know what I'm saying? This person definitely is losing sleep. They 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 definitely worried. They were playing events and over and over in their head. While they're thinking about you. So why would they be thinking about you if they weren't a part of this here? Mm -hmm. This person definitely did show you fake love. And they're going to come in and try to um, bring forth some type of fake apology. But this also could be some type of fake invitation or fake offer here. Yeah, whoever this person is, they feel like a jackass. This person is a clown. This person is a whole clown. Disappointed with the three of cups. Yeah, we have romance here. So whoever this person is with the three of cups and the romance. Um, yeah. So what is this? So we have the three of cups with the romance. So did somebody have a lot of people that they were sleeping with here? But then trying to get you involved? Mm-hmm. Yeah, for some of you, somebody was trying to get you involved. And I don't know if this is polygamy or whatever the situation is. But it didn't work. It's not going to work. I don't know if these people were celebrating. Cause they were like, yeah, we got them. Or yeah, we got them. No, you didn't. You've been stopped in your tracks. You've been stopped in your tracks. The thing about it is, yeah, you could have turned your back on this person here. You could have cut the strings between you and this person. You could have stopped communicating with this person. Possibly because they try to tennis sword you by saying that you had a bad reputation here. The fact of the matter is, you don't. And then on top of that, whoever this person is, they were trying to cover up the fact that they were showing you fake love. This person literally, yeah, was giving their cup to everybody, giving their penis to everybody. This person sacrificed themselves. They tennis sword themselves. They self sabotage themselves. Yeah, you don't have no strings attached to this person or these people, and you definitely are living in the moment. You are enjoying life, whoever you are. You, For some of you, you could uh, be going to the beach, or, you know, you you could live by the beach, but look at her feet kicked up. Like, yeah, this is the life. Uh-huh. Yeah. You could have found out that this person was talking reckless uh, on your name, saying that you had a bad reputation. That could be when you turned your back on this person. That could be when you stopped um, communicating with this person here. Or when somebody did. Yeah, we have screenshot here, so some type of evidence, some type of proof, some type of facts here. For some of you, some this person thinks that you have some type of evidence. 
some type of proof as to them or this person trying to tend towards you talking recklessly on your name saying that you got a bad reputation saying that you um you know are involved in a b c d e f g everything but the right thing that's what this person want, it was or these people were saying about you just to cover up the fact of what they were doing behind the scenes here and then also on top of that i feel like this, this person is disappointed because they literally wanted to celebrate because they literally wanted you to be involved whatever this is so whoever this is because we saw sex addiction so these people have sex addiction so they wanted you to be addicted uh, have a sex addiction so they literally wanted you to be walking around with a demon or two or three or four because i feel like whoever these people are if they have sex addictions they have addictions to other things mm -hmm. yeah and if you don't have proof or you don't have evidence you're getting ready to to to, to get some evidence for some of you somebody's going to send you a screenshot of something or somebody or some people Mm-hmm. Yeah, whoever this person is, I feel like that they love you, but at the same time they hate you. And it's because this person has a bad reputation. They possibly have been having a bad reputation. When you met this person, they had a bad reputation. Uh, when you walked away from this person, they have a worse reputation. Yeah. And I feel like whoever this person or these people are, they literally were trying to sabotage you, trying to sabotage your reputation because they wanted you to be a part of the gang. They wanted you to be a part of the coven. They wanted you to be a part of the cult. Whatever this sick shit is. Yeah. And this person has the nerve to now want you back. This person now has the nerve to want you back. So that could be uh, what this Knight of Cups is. But it's fake. They're losing sleep, and the only reason why they want you back is because people know about this person's re bad reputation, and that's another reason why they're worried. That's another reason why they feel like you're not communicating with them. For some of you, this person feels like the last conversation that y'all had, you were covering up the fact that you were disappointed in this person. This person literally could just be um, paranoid, you know? I hope he don't know. I hope she don't know. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Well, guess what? It doesn't matter because the truth is going to come to the light. This person definitely could be stalking you. This person definitely is obsessed here. Yeah, we have the inside scoop, but it's in the reverse. Um, so, yeah, whoever you are, you are very guarded against this person. You definitely are protecting your, your energy from this person here. This person knows that they can't get close to you. This person knows that they can't be all up in your business. Or they've been stopped in their tracks because we did see the stop card from being close to you, from uh, being nosy all up in your business here. Mm-hmm. Yeah. We have an impersonator out here. So somebody is going to get some type of evidence, some type of proof or something that somebody was trying to impersonate them. For some of you, somebody literally could be could have been trying to use your uh, identity. For some of you, it could be this person. A karmic masculine or a karmic feminine. Take it how it resonates here. But somebody literally wants to be like you and you definitely are going to get some type of proof or some type of evidence here. And it definitely could have something to do with the phone. Or you're just going to receive some type of screenshot um, or, or see a screenshot or the fact that the matter is somebody literally could have been using your picture or something like that. Mm -hmm. So they literally or they literally could be taking screenshots of your pictures and putting their head or their face on it or whatever the situation is yeah whoever you are you definitely are unfazed um you decided to not communicate because you possibly your intuition already told you 
that this person was a piece of shit, not even a piece of shit, like like a crumb of a piece of a shit. Um, and you definitely could be unfazed. This person wants you back, but they but they are covering up the fact that they don't really like you like that, or they don't love you. They possibly like you, but they don't love you. And the fact of the matter is, I don't I don't feel like this person liked you like that. Because if they did, then they wouldn't been uh, have been playing these games here. This person wants you back, but this person is always partying. And at the same time, that's why they're disappointed. Because at the end of the day, them always partying, or them, because I'm picking up, yeah, like swingers, uh, like swingers uh, parties, or like, you know, private sex parties or something like that. This person has gotten involved in some stuff with some people that they can't take back. Yeah, and this person, they, they, they've been stopping their tracks when it comes to getting close to you. Or, you know, being all up in your business here because, yeah, we have trapped at the bottom of the deck. So they, they're they trying to get you trapped up. But this person is literally going to, or they already have fallen in their own trap here. Or they're going to find out. Mm-hmm. And I feel like it has something to do with some type of organization, some type of cult, some type of, you know, some type of group that's walking around with, with sex demons, whatever demons they, they got going on. Wow. This person literally could be reflecting, though. You know, they could be reflected because you're not communicating with them here. Somebody, this person could have dreads. But they literally could be reflecting here. For some of you, there's somebody that could be in person. So this person could could be impersonating like a divine counterpart. This, this person could be a false flame here. But they definitely are reflecting about no communication here. They're also reflecting on the fact that they basically fell in their own trap. Yeah. But this person is also reflecting on the fact that they're hooked. They, they're hooked uh, when it comes to sex. They're hooked when it comes to them doing karmic toxic things. But they're also hooked on you. This definitely could be a water sign. Whoever this person is, I feel like that they're... They, they're emotional, but I feel like that they're emotional because they have a bad, a worse reputation than they ever had in their life, and 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 now they want somebody to show them some love. They want somebody to, you know, what I'm saying, because I feel like that whoever this person is, the people that they were involved with, especially that karmic feminine, I feel like the karmic feminine don't give no 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 flux. I feel like the karmic feminine is gonna do whatever they want to do. Um, this person, they possibly are going through some type of, I'm not going to say awakening, maybe realizations, but it's af it's too late. It's after stuff that stuff has happened here. For some of you, this person literally could want to apologize, you know, and try to make things right, but they're worried that it's too late. Yeah, they they're already partying, always partying. And yeah, whoever the, this person is, they, they literally could always have some type of romantic love affair. It's about a sex fix. So, something about a secret lover. And for some of you, this person is hooked on basically being a player. This person is hooked on uh, getting sex fixes. Mm -hmm. Yeah, well, whoever this person is, they're literally hooked uh, on doing toxic karmic things. And yeah, they're going to find themselves... In a casket. Mm -hmm. Wow. So somebody literally could pass away. I don't know if it's a secret lover. I don't know if it's... Um, But for some of you, yeah, some somebody is trying to get you, invite you somewhere or something to get you in a trap. Um, so whatever these people have, because we did see caught a case as far as sexual disease, 
it could be something that can't get that you can't get rid of. And so these people already know that they're going to pass away. So that's possibly why somebody's always partying. You know, they don't care. But the, whoever these people are, they're spreading it around. We have Knight of Cups with the Three of Cups. So, yeah. We have the Hang One, Ten of Swords, Knight of Cups, and the Three of Cups. So these people are just passing around to people that they don't have any strings attached to. But I mean, at the end of the day, it doesn't matter what they ha whether they have strings attached to people or not. The fact of the matter is, if they're spreading something that around, um, they've spread it around to a lot of people. Yeah, whoever you are, your spiritual army is definitely a, a, on the front lines here. That's for sure. And your spiritual army is definitely protecting you here um, from 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 going down the wrong path. Or protecting you from these people trying to get you to go down the wrong path here. Yeah, we have imprisonment here. So whoever this person is, they literally could be reflecting on the fact that whatever they're doing behind the scenes could get them locked up. You know, if they have sex group going on or whatever it is that they that they have going on, but they're um, uh, spreading uh, spreading diseases or whatever the situation is, yeah, they're going to get locked up. Mm-hmm. Yeah, we have main male here. So whoever this mask and energy is, yeah, they're reflecting on uh, their life thus far. They losing sleep. They worry. This person could pass away. I don't know. Or a whole lot of people could pass away. Mm -hmm. But whoever this is, it could be a water sign, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. You're in phase by this person. This person has a sex demon. This person is hooked on getting their sex fix. We have unexpected income in the reverse. So, it's, if these people were spreading... diseases these people are going to be held liable for damages here somebody's going to get some type of payout or something like that that could be another reason why this poor person or these people are disappointed uh, because they're going to have to pay yeah they're, if they're going to be held for some type of uh, they're going to be held liable for some type of damages here and it could be the fact that somebody could pass away in this situation. Because we have the sudden wolf at the bottom of the deck. Mm. We have mature woman here. This could be somebody's mama, baby mama. But I'm also picking up too that this definitely could be your energy. But somebody has went down, has fallen in the trap that they has set for you with this person here. And again, if it's not this masculine energy, this karmic masculine, it's they're literally finding out some information or they're going to find out some information about the karmic feminine here. Yeah. Something about sudden wolf here. So I don't know if somebody... Uh, was getting a lot of money by doing this here. I don't know if somebody was throwing parties and getting a lot of money by doing this here. Or somebody was just using a lot of money, spending a lot of money because they were hooked on sex here. 
But your spiritual army is uh, definitely on the front lines here. And yeah, somebody definitely could have paid. Or yeah, what the Knight of Cups could have offered, given somebody an offer here or a group of people here to possibly try to invite you somewhere um, to get you to go down the wrong path here or something like that. Or somebody literally is going to find out that they went down the wrong path because the next card is Coffin. And then we have Funeral. So yeah. So somebody literally could pass away. And the sentence ends in period. For some of you, somebody is going to um, try to bury the hatchet with you here. Uh, but they could be worried. They could be worried. And it could be because you're not in communication with them. Um, but they also are worried simply because uh, they know what they were doing behind the scenes. And they're worried that you already know. Mm -hmm. Something about violation of a policy or conduct here. So, so, so a, a policy or conduct was violated. Mm -hmm. And this could be a spiritual violation. So this could be like spiritual policy. We have poltergeist here. So, yeah. Ain't no telling what this person was involved in or what these people were involved in. But they literally could be being haunted. Whoever this person is, yeah, they know that they fumbled a blessing. And so, yeah, we do have haunted out here, I think. Or we saw the haunted card. Yeah, this person is being haunted here because they fumbled a blessing, which is you. Yeah, for some of you, this is a trap. With the Knight of Cups and the Three of Cups here. Uh, we have the Mature Woman with the Funeral and the Coffin here. So for some of you, uh, yeah, somebody, whoever, there's somebody that literally is impersonating you. For some of you, somebody trying to set, set, set you up so that they can take you out. And this person literally could have been involved. This person knows that they fumbled a blessing. Yeah, this person was manipulated to betray you or that's what they're going to try to come in and say. Yeah, and then on top of that, there was some type of illegal documents that was used in a scam. And that backfired. Yeah, whoever you are, you definitely could have the gift of discernment here. So if this person knows, that's exactly why they're worried. Mm -hmm. Yeah, something about a blood test is very significant here. So what do you do? What what is a blood? I mean, you can get a blood test for many things, but when we talk about, because we did see sex addiction, we did see the Ace of Wands, the Knight of Wands, a lot of uh, uh, nasty D energy, nasty P energy. Um, what do you get a blood test for? You know, it's 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 to see if you have some type of disease. Mm-hmm. Yeah, somebody's in spiritual jail. So whoever this person is, because we have the imprisonment card here, they literally could be uh, in spiritual jail here. For some of you, whoever this karmic feminine is, they could be in spiritual jail. So as above, so below, somebody's locked up. Somebody literally could be getting a blood test in jail. Spiritual jail and physical jail. Mm-hmm. What else, spirit? Look. And it came right back out. Caught a case. So whoever this person is, they're worried because they caught a case. Yeah, we know. That's how the the that's how the beginning of the message started out. This person is, yeah, they're worried because they caught a case here. They did. Or they wanted to. But it says caught a case, so yeah. They they caught a case. Whoever you are, your story definitely uh, stayed the same. Your story didn't change. So, I don't know if these people were trying to, yeah, they were trying to sabotage you. 
trying to basically um, make you the scapegoat or, or use you as the pawn, you know, to, to get them... Um, to, to get the eyes off of them or to get the light off of them. Um, when it comes to this person trying to cover it up or these people trying to cover up whatever they were doing behind the scenes, yeah, they've been caught red-handed here. Yeah. And the, and this person or these people, they're definitely disappointed because you are surrounded by, by your spiritual security. So these people know it. Yeah. For some of you, this person uh, has already found out that they caught a case because they literally could have gotten some um, uh, communication from a lawyer here. But I'm also picking up, too, that you possibly could be receiving some type of communication from a lawyer. You know, ain't no telling how long this person um, was doing whatever they were doing behind the scenes. And so for some of you, the lawyer possibly could be communicating with you just to make sure that you're okay. These people, I don't know, man, I can't even talk about what, what I'm hearing and what I'm seeing, y'all. It's just crazy. It's nasty. It's disgusting. I'm talking about all, yeah, mm-mm, yeah. Your story stayed the same. And when it comes to these people's reputation, their bad reputation, yeah, they're not protected. Um, but it, But I'm also picking up two unprotected sex here. unprotected sex here um somebody's been caught red-handed here and yeah somebody definitely has having some type of past memories past memories are definitely haunting these people here but whoever this person is they they were they were spreading their 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 juices everywhere y'all see the cups they literally could be been drinking blood pee cum uh whatever the hell man 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 these people have been caught red-handed Point blank in the sentence ends and period. And there's a whole group of people that that is getting some that is getting subpoenaed to court. And it's about romance. So these people, it's a group, or it's just a, multiple people. They don't necessarily have to be grouped up, but it's just a lot of people that are involved, or a lot of people that is going to receive some communication from a lawyer to to basically tell them y'all need to go to the doctor and get a blood test. Wow. Yeah, there's an investigation taking place. There's an investigation taking place, but I'm also picking up too that um whoever you are, whoever this is is trying to impersonate you or whatever. Um yeah, there's evidence. So, I don't know what these people were doing when they were trying to impersonate you. But this is being investigated as well. Yeah, we have Angel Rockwell bouncing out the scales. Making sure that justice is going to be served on your behalf. You have Angel Sarah Quell here who's watching over you, protecting you from harm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, there is somebody that wants to come in and buy your love. They can't pay for karma. I mean, they can't pay uh, for karma with money here. So, yeah, that's that Nine of Cups energy here. Somebody literally could be having breathing issues. And I guess that's a part of the, the symptoms or the side effects. Because we did see uh, the trauma with the symptoms and the side effects or whatever here. Yeah, we have Angel Raquel guiding you and bringing uh, you healing here. So you definitely are surrounded by your by your spiritual security here. Um, these people want you to sweep it under the rug like it didn't happen. They want you to sweep under the rug the fact that they basically try to sabotage you um, by saying that you had a bad reputation or 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 for some of you, um, yeah, they wanted to come in to try to have unprotected sex with you here. But I'm also picking up too that this karmic masculine energy, they, the karmic feminine, could want to um, want this person to sweep it under the rug because this person literally could have had unprotected sex with this person or something like that. But they, but they're gonna try to want you to sweep something under the rug. I feel like it's it's a part of it's the investigation as well. Whatever part that has your name on it, when it comes to the investigation, they want you to sweep that under the rug. So, not only were they committing crimes against other people, they were committing crimes against you. Yeah, these people are under God's wrath. 
That's why they're losing sleep. Yeah. And there is somebody that's spying on you trying to figure out if you are in a relationship here. So I don't know if um, if these people are trying to figure it out. So I don't know why. Well, we have the romance here. These people need to be worrying about the subpoena. These people definitely need to be worrying about being under God's wrath. They still worried about the wrong reasons. Or the wrong things, excuse me. What else, Spirit? Yeah, whoever you are, you helped them in so many ways and they and they betrayed you. For some of you, you could be getting subpoenaed. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we have a divine masculine, but this divine masculine is not so divine. Yeah, whoever this is, this masculine energy, they're definitely being investigated. And it has something to do with some screenshots, impersonation. Um, it has something to do with uh, money. And whatever else is going on. Yeah, you could be seeing the angel number 1213, but your ascended masters definitely surround you here. Yeah, your spiritual security. And whoever this is, this masculine energy, yeah, they love, it's a love-hate when it comes to you. Um, but they're but they're mad because you're unfazed by everything that's going on behind the scenes. Mm -hmm. Yeah, these people literally could take class A drugs and 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 get to it. Whatever they be doing, they they get to it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, whoever these people are, I feel like that they are trying to infiltrate your energy. Um, but you stand your ground, and they can't take it. You're not communicating with them, so they can't dig up, get close to you, or or get in your business, or find out, you know, how they can infiltrate your energy. But somebody out here definitely does take class A drugs hard, hard. It's the people that are always partying here, so it could be this masculine, it could be um, this karmic, it, it could be anybody that's involved. But these people, yeah, they're greedy and they're malicious, and they like to do greedy and malicious things here. Yeah, and one of the greedy and malicious things that they were doing was spreading rumors and lies for clout and attention. Mm -hmm. Whoever this masculine energy is, yeah, the ring, ring. This is their wake up call. So this masculine energy is getting a wake up call here. So for some of you, this masculine energy, they weren't involved. They're gonna find out that the karmic feminine energy was out here doing their doing their thing, and they did their thing too much. And now they think it's thinking, but in a bad way. They had unprotected sex and something has taken place here. But I'm also picking up too that, and that's not for, that's just for some of you. Because for the majority of you, yes, this masculine energy was involved. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, they, they, they definitely are getting a wake up call. They definitely are falling victim to their own negative projections here. Mm -hmm. Yeah, this per this and this masculine energy literally could be, yeah, have some have a sex addiction more than anybody out here. I mean, we saw the wands, we saw the Knight of Wands, the Ace of Wands. So whoever this is, they literally could like the same sex. This masculine energy, yeah, and these people were so greedy and malicious that they basically used information illegally and uh, and uh, ethically here. So whatever it is that they were using the information for, yeah, that's where that um, payback payout has to come in. It's coming in place here. Yeah, and it could have been for a health diagnosis diagnosis here. So it could have been uh, that they used information illegally and, and ethically, the un, or unethically. The 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 information that they used could have been, or they could have acquired, uh, paid. To get some type of health diagnosis, but I feel like that it was fraudulent. So they could have paid somebody to make up some fraudulent uh, health diagnosis when it comes to you. Mm hmm. But I feel like it didn't work. 
I feel like what 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 worked was the fact that whoever this is is locked up or going to get locked up or whoever had the blood test. That's what worked. Yeah, because somebody has some type of health diagnosis or they have received some type of health diagnosis and we do have funeral and coffin. So somebody literally is going to pass away. But I feel like if they try to make up some some false documents when it comes to you. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Whoever this masculine energy is, they're definitely getting a wake-up call. And it's about them being an entitled prick. So whoever this is, I feel like that they, they felt like that you owed them something. You don't owe them nothing. I don't know who this person thinks they are. They need they owe themselves to put on a condom. They owe themselves to wash they they wash their beefcake or they taco. Like that's what they owe themselves. They owe themselves not to be walking around uh indulging in toxic karmic negative behavior so that they can live a longer life. But somebody's about to pass away. So whatever. Yeah, they're falling victim to their own negative projections and they're and, and whoever you are. Why they think that you owe them something, while they are falling victim to their own negative projections, you're getting ready to live the life that you deserve. Yeah, whoever this person is, they know that they fumbled a blessing, they, and, it, and it's you. And then on top of that, yeah, this person cannot come in your energy. You are surrounded by your spiritual security. They can't get close. They can't snoop. They can't look. They can't even wink your way. Yeah. And so while these people were using illegal and unethical information or paying to get un illegal and unethical information or paying, that, that didn't sound right, paying to, to get some fraudulent, illegal, and unethical information, is that, yeah, y'all know what I'm talking about. Yeah, these, these people, these people done messed up, they done messed up bad, bad. Somebody got a health diagnosis, so for some of you, somebody has a death date. We have the funeral and the coffin. Mm -hmm. So somebody literally could be laying on their deathbed right now. This person literally could be bed bound right now. And guess what? They wanted to do things out of, outside of divine order and everything will be done in divine order. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because whoever this is, they didn't think, yeah, they didn't think that you would walk away. So they, because you walked away, they feel like that you owe them something. No, you don't owe them nothing. Stay in alignment. Because what, what you've been praying for definitely is coming. Yeah, and whoever you are, just stay in your lane and keep moving forward. Um, something important will be shown to you. And what's going to be shown to you is the fact that somebody literally, or and this could be with the Knight of Cups and um, the Three of Cups. Yeah, somebody could try to invite you to somebody's uh, funeral here. So y'all just stay on your P's and Q's because, yeah, somebody literally um, could still be trying to trap you up. We have taken meds to numb the pain. Their life is about to spiral out of control. I feel like that their life has already spiraled out of control here. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So... Let's get a spiritual AF message to take us out, y'all. Or we need another spirit. It says, what's the best that could happen? You're probably super good at thinking up the worst case scenario, right? You can project all your fears onto a big screen and play them out in vivid color. You can actually feel the anger of the confrontation you haven't confronted. The loss of the job you haven't been fired from. The death of the star you haven't dared to shoot for. Try putting those superpowers to work in the opposite direction. Imagine how you could be surprised and delighted in, in those same scenarios. Daydream instead of worry. Say hey to that cool ass shit. So yeah, uh, I feel like that somebody literally is uh, is is thinking like that's where we have the nervous energy with the the kite. Somebody's nervous about communicating here because they're already thinking about what's the worst case scenario. Whoever you are, I feel like that if this person communicates with you about whatever is going on behind the scenes, I feel like that it, you're not going to be surprised. 
you're not going to be worried. You're not going to be, I feel like that you're going to be like, okay, it ain't me. Click. That's what I feel like. Whoever this person is, they want to try to come in, you know what I mean, to try to get in your good graces or for you to sweep something under the rug like it didn't happen or whatever the situation is and it doesn't work like that. I feel like whoever you are, you possibly are, could have compassion for this person, but that's as far as it goes. As far as anything else, no, because this person played a part. The thing about it is I don't understand how people can say, I was man I was manipulated to do that to you. How? Are you a kid? Are you a kid? That's called peer pressure. You you not a kid. So how can an adult be manipulated to betray somebody? So with that being said, yeah, whoever this person is, regardless of what their excuse is for why they were doing whatever they were doing behind the scenes, they they got some healing to do. And this wake up call is just the the the, the tip of the iceberg. Either way it goes, this person before they had this wake up call, they 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 felt that you owe them something. How do you owe them something? They're the ones that want to party all night or they're the ones that want to sleep with people unprotected and spread around nasty ass infected juices. And now people don't call the case behind them spreading around nasty ass juices. And now people have to pay people back and yada yada blase blase. Somebody done got a health diagnosis. They get ready to pass away. What do you owe these people or this person? Yeah, they done lost their damn mind and they get their shit together. So y'all, we're going to leave the message there. <laughs> That's been the message. Please like, share, and subscribe. And I'll talk to you soon.